It was in his homework. Practice beheading a toy likeness of a blonde, white westerner. White westerner. I read that over and over again, replaying each word in my head as a prayer or a curse, I'm not sure. I read that line and pictured my very own features placed upon that doll's face. A blonde, white, a westerner. What struck me harder than personalizing these crimes is the stolen innocent hearts of the young. These hearts weren't just taken or borrowed, they were read violently from the chest of those who had no other choice. They were taught how to use a knife to flesh before they learned how to cope with a loved one's death. Before they learned how to make love, to make life, to make sense of the transgressions in their own heads. How could it ever make sense? God. It was a common frailty. Post hieroglyph nursing death to toast the descendants of myth and boost the echo of the blonde white westerner towards the desolation of the holy land. Bounce these primitive signatures off the future so the blood can maintain prose. Awareness is serrated, slowly passing through bridges for the adolescent and oppression skirmish. We can no longer see the fires from the bridges. The fires from these bridges were fanned by the toast from the descendants of myth. Future to future, mothman to mothman, still a common frailty. Entropy's link in the secular food chain bore the anchor with pride at one point, reminding us that hell is a younger concept than you were taught. Macabre minus the brushstroke over an infidel's hungering definition woven with the thread of the blonde white westerner. Like meat to a wolf's smile, marketed over screens but bounding over oceans just to smell the flesh on the breath of weapon faith. Those post Janissaries, because the swords don't march to music anymore, and the bridges smothered the fires when they fell where the children were trying to keep warm. Fear can bring us to shit our own stigmata and stain our blankets, or stain our message with self, or stain the balance with chance, or stain the potency with malice, but the deity just stains the sundial with viscera. So who's right? Who lit these fires? Will the wolf saliva even douse them? <laughs> Blades and seeds. Blades and seeds to sow and drain logic for a generation of killers without mothers. Nothing but dead eyes trained by dead eyes. Fingers holding the roots of the blonde white westerner. And from the wailing wall to the hill of the skull, this prepubescent blight will be no surprise to the shadows of Roman torture. And they will not cry when they watch, sooner or later. And in this barbarism, we're gonna drown in a country that will no longer coagulate, even with the dust clogging our own imaginations, and entropy chews off what was left of its tongue, because it'll be easier to speak dead languages that way. You see, it would seem the godded ones cut cleaner. That's it, that's all I had to say. Deep in the Midwest, we are protected. We live in a dream where these heinous acts of the ill will seem like distant nightmares that lurk somewhere underneath. Somewhere between poorly rated fictional horror movies, but fiction it is not, and these frightened, disturbed souls exist not only worlds away, but right underneath our noses walking amongst us. An unrest so profound, the earth quakes beneath our feet. A blonde, 
Wide Westerner.